My name is Dr. Yang Yang. I'm an electrophysiologist at the Washington Regional Electrophysiology Clinic, part of the Walker Heart Institute. Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, is an irregular heartbeat involving the upper chamber of the heart. It can cause you to feel your heart to flutter. You can feel palpitations. You can feel your heart racing. You can feel dizzy. You can feel lightheaded. A lot of the times, AFib can be successfully treated with lifestyle changes or medications. However, a lot of times those fail. Not treating the AFib appropriately can lead to dementia, it can lead to heart failure, it can lead to increased risk of stroke, it can lead to a lot of bad things down the line. Cardiac ablation is a procedure that's been offered here over the last 25 years for patients who lifestyle changes and medications don't work. It is a procedure that involves us going up from a vein in the leg, going into the heart, finding the areas that cause AFib, and then going and making those areas quiet so that it no longer causes problems. We are happy to say that Washington Regional is the first and only hospital in Northwest Arkansas to offer pulse field ablation. Pulse field ablation is a new technology that does not use heat or freezing to destroy the tissue or make it quiet. It allows us to use electric fields in really high voltages or really short intervals to make the area quiet by zapping it instead of heating or freezing the tissue. It has the advantage of safety and efficacy. In addition, the procedure takes only half the amount of time that it does for our, with previous ablation technologies. Everyone is put under general anesthesia, so you are fully asleep before I walk in the room. We go through a vein in the leg. We go up with a catheter first to find the areas that cause AFib. We target those areas for ablation. And then at the end of the procedure, we remove the catheters, put a dissolvable stitch, and you're up and walking within a couple of hours. Recovery from the procedure is fairly easy. The day of the procedure, you're up and walking within two hours. You are home usually within three to four hours. For the next week, you just, uh, you cannot lift anything heavy. You have to make sure to keep hydrated as dehydration can cause kidney problems after ablation. Long-term outcomes with AFib ablation look incredible. Uh, up to 80% of people after ablation don't even have a single second of AFib the next year.